All right, let's jump right in. Today, we're taking a deep dive into disc golf course design. Ooh, always fun. And we've got some notes here scouting out C.P. Wagoner Park in Grand Prairie, Texas. You know it, Ted. As a potential course. Yeah. It's not a blank slate, which I think makes it even more exciting. Yeah, that makes it more fun. Because we're really going to be using existing park features. You've been there, walked the park, made some notes. Yep. So what jumps out at you from these notes? Um, well, you know, I I really like that there is a deep creek running through it. Yeah. And you even have a pedestrian bridge. I'm already thinking about some dramatic shots over this bridge or under it. I love it. Yeah, I mean, think about it. You're on the tee pad and you've got to make a decision. Yeah. Am I going to try and go over this bridge or under it? What am I feeling today? I like it. All right, so hole one throws west. Okay. Straight across that creek. Players actually have to use the bridge to get to the other side. Love it. So we're not just using an existing feature. Yeah. We're making it essential to the game. Absolutely. It's not just about distance control. One, right. It's adding that extra element of strategy right off the bat. Love it. Yeah. I'm excited. So it's not just the bridge, right? You've got trees, yeah. foliage. It's going to be a wooded shot. 250 to 350 feet, depending on where you put that basket. Perfect for an opening hole. Yeah. You don't want to make it too difficult right out of the gate. Right. But something that can get people thinking. Yeah. All right, hole two, we're heading south now. This one is tight. Oh, tight, okay. Through the trees, watch <laughs> out for that picnic table. Sounds like a hazard. The creek is behind the basket area. I love it. This sounds tricky. Yeah, this is where we're shifting gears a little bit. Yeah. Hole one, we had a longer, more open shot. Yeah. Now we're thinking finesse, we're thinking accuracy. Yeah. This is about 200 feet. Okay. So it's a shorter hole, but much more technical. Yeah, it's about finding those unexpected lines through the park. Absolutely. Got to hit your lines. Yeah. Avoid going OB into the creek. All right. Hole three takes us up, up, up to the highest point in the park. Ooh, I like a vista. Overlooking, get this, the George Bush Tollway. All right. So we got a view. What a view. That's what you <laughs> noted. What a view. That's what I said. Yeah. Beautiful views. So this is a long one. Gently wooded, approximately 500 feet. Okay. So this is our longest hole so far. Yeah. Sounds like a good park <laughs> for. Yeah. And the basket sits near the parking lot with that creek on the left and a drainage ditch marking OB. Adds a little bit of danger. Yeah. This is where design gets interesting. Yeah. How do you balance a stunning view right. with the need for a challenging and engaging hole? It can't just be a scenic walk in the park. It can't just be a walk in the park. You're right. I think subtle elevation changes can really do the trick here. Yeah. Or maybe strategically place trees to create those interesting lines that people have to hit. Yeah. You don't want to distract too much from the scenery, though. Right. Yeah. So it's all about integrating those challenges seamlessly into the natural beauty. I like it. All right. Hole four brings us back down to earth. Okay. Literally. It's on the east side of the parking lot. Yeah. Wide open. A field. I love just begging for a power drive. Yeah, that's where you let it rip. You noted that there's a tree line off to the left. Yeah. That's going to be hole nine eventually. And staying left is key here, especially if there are other park activities happening. Safety first. Always. Got to make sure everybody's safe out there on the course. Now, this open field actually reminds me of something else you noted. What's that? You said on clear nights. Oh, yeah. You can see the DFW airport traffic from here. It's quite a sight. It is a unique feature, right? Yeah, it's pretty cool. It has a whole other layer to the experience connecting the course to its surroundings. Yeah, I like when a course has that kind of local flavor. Yeah, and it made me think about the soundscape of the course. Oh, yeah. You know, we're in the DFW area. Yeah. There's going to be that constant hum of aircraft. It's just part of life here. It is part of life here. Could it enhance the atmosphere? Or is it a distraction? Hmm. That's a good question. It's something designers have to consider. Absolutely. All right, let's move on to hole five. Okay. We're heading south again toward the second parking lot. All right, making our way through the park. This one's a bit deceptive. Ooh, I like a deceptive hole. It's a simple shot across a smaller field. Sounds easy enough. But you noted there's a hidden challenge. Ooh, what's the catch? The OB line. Right. Is the road leading to the parking lot, and it's completely hidden from the tee pad. So you can't even see it. Can't even see it. So you could just launch one out there and be OB without even knowing it. Yeah. All right, speaking of risk, hole six brings another twist. Okay, ready. It's another open field, similar to hole five. All right, so we got some distance potential here. 
Yeah, but this one calls for an Anheuser shot. Anheuser, okay, now we're talking. A curving throw. All right, so for those who don't know, for a right-handed player, an Anheuser is gonna make the disc curve to the That's right. That's a perfect explanation. Yeah. So you need that curve. Okay. Because the fairway runs right along the outfield fence of a baseball field. Oh, wow. Well, so if you throw it straight. Yeah, you're in trouble. You're gonna hit the fence. I'd have shaped that shot. And you noted that the safest play here is a C-shaped drive. That's right about 300 feet Okay. with that dense creek brush behind the basket as your hazard. Adds a little bit of pressure. It does. Gotta hit that gap. And we turn north for the first time. Okay, pushing it up. With hole seven. All right. And you said it's almost unrealistic because of how tight the fairway is. All right, challenge accepted. This is a tight tunnel shot. Tunnel shot, all right, I love those. Deep creek on the right okay. as I walk on your left. So there's no room for air. You said it's like an hourglass narrowing at the start and yeah. then widening slightly where the basket sits 320 feet away. So precision is key here. Yeah, this is a risk reward hole. Big time. Right, do you go for the risky shot? That's right. Or play it safe? You gotta weigh your options. I love it. All right, and then fi finally we're gonna finish part one here All right. with hole eight. Okay. You said, imagine this, a relaxing 220 foot tunnel shot under the shade of those beautiful oak trees. Yeah, this is where you catch your breath a little bit yeah. after that brutal hole seven. Yeah, but you're gonna need to. Relax. And even as the sun sets, yeah. you noted there's a well-lit pavilion near the tee pad. Yeah, it makes it easier to see. And a sidewalk by the basket. Gotta be safe. Ensuring good visibility. That's important. We've spent all this time talking about someone else's vision for this course. Right. But now it's your turn. It's time to put on your designer hats, folks. Yeah, we're giving you the keys to your local park. <laughs> it's a blank slate. Let's get creative. What are you going to do with it? What's your dream course? It doesn't have to be anything crazy or elaborate. It doesn't have to be fancy. Sometimes the simplest ideas are the most effective. Absolutely. It's all about those little details. What unique features would you incorporate? What's going to make your course stand out? What's going to make people want to come back and play it again and again? Yeah. What's that special something? I'd be drawn to, like you mentioned earlier, those hidden gems within the landscape. Yeah. Maybe a secluded grove of trees. Oh, I like that. Becomes a haven for a challenging short hole. Yeah. Or a babbling brook that runs alongside a fairway. Ooh, the sounds of nature. Have a little soundtrack to the game. You're speaking my language. It's about using what nature provides. Exactly. And integrating it into the design. Until next time. Keep those discs flying.